two, three, skiing. skiing. Excellent. Well, let's go skiing now. Yeah, Just watch the traffic on the left, okay? Okay, so here we go.
So the reason I'm telling you now to ski like the Olympic champion is because that's the toughest situation. Solid ice, having to make turns around the gates, and sometimes it's steep enough to reach out and touch the snow. So Olympic champions do not want to fall down. They get too embarrassed if they fall down with a gold medal around their neck. So if you don't want to fall down, stand like this. Feet apart, knees bent, hands out. Now you want to turn. Reach down and plant your pole. And remember, it's always your downhill pole. But practice your pole plant while you're standing around, then it's automatic once you start moving. But if the only time you practice this stuff is when you're moving, it'll take you forever to get it. And folks, a lot of you are running out of time. <laughs> the next Olympics are in four more years. You gotta be ready. Alright, so stand like this and now practice your pole plan. Okay? So your hands are out to keep your balance. Now reach down and touch your pole to the snow. And that's how you start your turn. Beginners don't do that. Beginners stand around like this. Beginners ski like this. Beginners start the turn with their shoulders. How many beginners do you see in the Olympics? I haven't seen any. Why would you want to ski like a beginner? Stand like this, you'll ski like this. Now plant your pole, and that's how you start your turn. If you want to turn faster, like in the mobile or in the Olympics, then simply plant your poles faster. That's all you need to do. But good skiers always start the turn with the pole. Okay, this next section now. Plant your pole and think of your pole plant like turn signals on your car. So you plant your pole first, then you make your turn. Okay? So pole plant and then start your turn. Here we go.